up, everybody? George here. We're in the conference room at work, and I'm going to be doing first flight of the Blade 120 SR. Um, you can see I have my DX6I there. I've already created a profile, bound this bird to the DX6I, and we're ready to do some flight testing here. We're going to be doing some hovering and some forward flight. Just trying to get an overall feel for this new little helicopter, and after we're done with the flights, we'll do a review and kind of let you know what we thought and how everything went. So, without any further ado, let's get this bird in the air. Okay, here we are. Let's go ahead and spin her up and try to hover her. Right now, I can tell that it seems pretty stable, not a lot of vibration. So, without further ado, let's get her up in the air. Get her stabilized. Seems uh, pretty stable. It wants to hover nicely. Let's go ahead and yaw into the camera's view. Right now it's requiring a minimum of stick input to keep her level. As you can see, it wants to hover pretty good. Pirouette's okay. Seems a little stable, you know, compared to the SR, it seems to be a little bit more sluggish. I would imagine that's because of the extra mass. It's a little bit heavier and it's not as twitchy as the MSR is. But um, it does maneuver fairly well. Um, let's try to do a little reverse flight here and see how it does. Reverse flight does fine. <clears throat> Absolutely no problem. Let's try some forward flight. Forward flight seems fine. It does want to do that little rocking horse thing. That's because of the 45 degree stabilizer bar. That's going to be inherent in any single rotor fixed pitch helicopter. But you can compensate for it with a little bit of cyclic. Let's go ahead and land her and um, we'll try some a little bit faster forward flight. Okay, let's go ahead and try a little forward flight with this thing and see how she does. This is kind of a small room, but I should be able to get it moving around. Seems to control pretty good. It's a small room, so I'm really not going to try to uh, get this guy whipping around here yet. At least not until I get a little bit better feel for it. This is only my first hour or so flying it, so, but it does feel responsive. Okay. Flies good. I'm a happy camper. Very happy with this little bird. Hey, what's up, everybody? George here. We're back. Test flights under our belt, and we're ready to get right on with the review of this little helicopter. Overall satisfaction, I'm going to say I'm satisfied. It was a lot of fun to fly. Had no problem right out of the box flying it. Easy to move around the room. Uh, just a fun little helicopter to fly. So let's talk about uh, some, of the, some of the characteristics of this bird. First, let's talk about the resiliency. Very resilient little bird. I did crash it a few times, but it was none the worse for the wear. Like the MSR, the parts seem to be engineered very well. If you do break something, they have a full line of replacement parts online, reasonably priced and easy to replace with a minimum of tools. Um, overall, it seems to be a very resilient helicopter. I did, however, buy a spare tail boom and rotor. Um, only because of my experience with the MSR, I wanted to have a spare in case I had a tail strike and don't want to lose any flying time, so I like to have one in the box just in case. Um, let's talk about the flight characteristics. 
flies exactly like you would expect a fixed pitch helicopter to fly. It flies a lot like the MSR, but with the extra mass, it's not as twitchy. It may be a little bit more docile when you're flying it around. It takes a little bit longer for it to react to cyclic. Remember that if she starts to get out of control on you, you need to bring her back into control. You're going to need a little bit more thumb on that cyclic than you normally would. But overall, it flies real good. I was able to pirouette it, fast forward flight, fly reverse, uh, roll it. it. It does behave very well, and I was extremely satisfied with the way that it performed. Now let's talk about the scalability. Just like the MSR, this has dual rates if you bought the, bio, the ready to fly version. Uh, the controller, right hand stick, puts it into um, trainer mode. If you're new to helicopters, I would strongly suggest that you use the trainer mode. Um, if you have a DX6i, it's going to be channel 5 or your gear switch. Uh, for the more advanced pilots, it does have a swash plate with two sets of balls. If you want to make it a little bit more nimble, take it off the short set, connect the balls to the long set, and you're going to have a much faster helicopter. Um, I left mine on the default short bars until I get used to it. I may or may not move it. It all depends, but overall, uh, you do have the ability to really tune it to your flying style. Um, overall, I'm going to have to say I'm very, very satisfied with this helicopter. Easy to fly, lots of fun. I would recommend it to anyone. Good job, E-Flight. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Until then, take care and see you next time.